Dr. Kinder put his head on the chopping block. Why would he do that? Well, I have no idea exactly why he did that. But perhaps he felt he was partially responsible for my drug addiction and he was trying to protect me. To think nothing of his reputation. Better to be branded as a hit-and-run driver than a pill pusher. Well, now leave it to you, Liza, to put your uh, unique spin on everything. Speaking of which, you have just taken your first baby step back into the spotlight. Admitting to this felony crime certainly was not a publicity stunt, I assure you. I would like for you to tell your story on the cutting edge. What did you just say? Oh, Shirley, you're joking. No, I'm very serious. There is no way in this world that I would ever appear on that show. It was your show once. Après moi le déluge. You turned a perfectly entertaining and stylish show into a video bloodbath. You have made it a televised forum for hate and violence. Please, I'm never going to have part of that. Well, don't sugarcoat it. Why don't you tell me how you really feel? Okay. You got the footage you came for. Why don't you go home and play with it? Edit it. See if you can't make me look like Janet Green with better jewelry. Welcome back. I have never been prouder of you than I am at this moment. Why is that? Because I told Liza Colby what I really think of her mawkish TV show. That, that, and the courage you had to uh, just take charge of your life. Well, when I was on pills, you know, I could just make excuses for myself. It was the pills, it wasn't me. But now that I'm clean and sober, I have to base myself, you know, and I would like to be able to look in the mirror and like what I see. Oh, I, I like what I see. I like what I see very much. Dimitri, coming here today, this was a real test for me, a very rough test, and I, I hope you understand that. It, it was a test that I had to pass, but I did. And having done that, I know now, really deep down, that I am going to make it. I am getting better. I mean, Erica came with a rap sheet, and I have not one urge to take any kind of pill whatsoever. That's progress, isn't it? I am getting better. I am going forward with my life. And I will not allow the, the past to weigh me down. Only... What? The past wasn't all bad. I mean, there were some parts of the past that were... There were some things about the past that I hope never to forget. So I'm going forward into the future. I don't want to go alone. Oh, 
he's gonna start dishing it out, I'm gonna dish it back. How? I don't know yet. I'm working on it. One thing's for sure, I can fight just as dirty as she can. Well, she threw the mud first. Mm. Give me a couple days. I'll have her down on her hands and knees being fitted for a leash. <laughs> I'll bring a camera. I'm glad you're on my side. Oh, you know I am, honey, every step of the way. I never believed those rumors. Not for a minute. Good. You have no idea how much I need you to believe in me. Tad the Cad is a roguish memory from the past. I don't miss him. And neither do I. Because I have you. And you are all I've ever wanted. I couldn't have said it better myself. Mm, you and Junior and Jamie may not be my entire life, but you're certainly the best part. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't get any better than us. <laughs> Why on earth would I ever hit on anybody else when I've got you waiting for me at home? Mm. Well, why don't you come home early tonight and we can ponder that question in depth. <laughs> in depth? I like it. Come here. Uh, I love you. I love okay, you. I can't wait. Bye. Bye. By all means, no knock, just barge your way in. Don't be cute with me, Ted. I'm not in the mood. What's got your blood pressure spiked? If it weren't for Junior, I would fire you on the spot. You and Liza. Well, you got half a good idea. Go out and can her. Do us all a favor. You're just as guilty as she is. Of what? Guilty? I'm not the one sitting around the water cooling spreading rumors about Tad and his happy hands. I've heard all about that. Yeah, well, then you're the station owner. Why don't you do something? I have talked to Liza. She wouldn't have had to resort to such drastic measures if someone had kept their pants zipped. Well, whose zipper are we talking about, darling? knows why I'm here. Yes, well, I'd like to hear it from you. But Derek fired me from the force because Noah escaped. My reputation is in ruins. I came here to find Noah to bring him back to Pine Valley, to, to clear my name. And that's the only reason you're here? Yes, I, I swear. I, I just want my job back, my life, my friends. And Noah is the only one who can help me. I just got a call from a village on the far side of the island. A woman answering Julia Santos' description was seen in town, entering a doctor's office. A doctor's office.
This is Joan London. And Forrest Sawyer. Tomorrow, how taking a hike can help you shape up for spring. Plus, Broadway's new king from The King and I, Lou Diamond Phillips. Good morning, America, tomorrow. Will Blair trust her sworn enemy to save Star's life? Find out on One Life to Live, next. The American Broadcasting Company, ABC.